Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Will, and if you're new here, I'm a leather artisan based in Cambridge. Today I'm going to show you how to baseball stitch. It's not going to be on a baseball, unfortunately, because I don't have one. It's going to be wrapping my filatus handle, one of these, in leather, because I like wrapping stuff in leather, funnily enough. It's not because of any other reason, and it's a really good way of showing you guys, because it's a completely uniform length and thickness. So... Stick, your, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. We're going to put some paint on the top and the bottom edge. These don't matter as much because they'll be rotated round. But I'm going to put some paint on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to leave it to dry using this. This is my drying rack. Absolutely beautiful thing. I think it's made of walnut. It's a magnetic. And it's from... Proitalia Plus, which is their logo laser engraved in. Love it. Use it every day. Now we're going to put it into this stand. Let it dry. And punch it all the way through. And there we have it. I'm going to be using a 532 Filo Chinois. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to do an over stitch. We've lock stitched that, so we've done an over stitch and then we've stitched over that again. So that it doesn't come undone. And now for the part you've all been waiting for, the baseball stitch. So what we'll do is put the left needle through the next hole pull it tight and then the right needle goes over that into the next hole I know it doesn't look that much yet, but that's the beginning of the baseball stitch. So we're going to carry on like that, we're going to keep going. So the next left, into the hole below it. And then the 
right needle goes above that, right north needle goes over. The tricky part is because you're going underneath the leather, so you're not you're not going like that, you're going underneath. Sometimes the holes are a little tricky to find. And then the right needle goes on top. So, we've done all of this. It looks just like a baseball, but the baseball is black. So now we're going to go through how to finish it. So there's, there's a few steps we need to follow. I'm just going to stitch the final holes here. Again, to uh, reiterate, it's left under the under the leather left right needle goes through the hole and pull that tight this is Galusha Moir thread again 532 it's really strong what most of the big fashion houses use. And this is the last one and then we'll finish it and I'll show you how to finish it. to do an over stitch I like to personally tie a knot in that over stitch so that it can't so it stays together and then we're going to stitch this is the difficult part all right so we're going to stitch through that without making any other unwanted holes we're going to stitch through that and with this stitch we're going to do a we're going to put it through here so we're going to do a um a cast with this so it's going to have essentially a knot in it and that's a closer look at what I've just done so it's an over stitch with a cast and then I'm going to do one more over stitch And it will be quite a bulky finish on this. Ordinarily you'd go back, but I don't want to. So the other stitch is you can do a cross stitch, but we'll go through that on another video. So make sure you make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. A little bit of glue on and all. And we're going to 
put it on that thread and we're done you can just do a single back stitch there a single over stitch there if you prefer not to have the very bulky bottom stitch but for me I like the security of having it there and that's going to set solid with those uh, with the glue so we're now going to take a small thread snipper I'm going to go close to the holes I'm going to snip it off and there you've got it a beautiful baseball stitch before we finish up though I'm going to take my polished hammer gently because this is a this is a hollow tube it depends what your um, depends what you're stitching on I'm going to do another stitching tutorial on this so make sure you're subscribed so uh, you have a nice leather bound handle you're going to gently tap these stitches down. Make sure that those holes are properly closed. Because you can see the difference between you can see the difference between here once that decides it wants to focus, thank you. Between there and where I've tapped you can see that it's much smaller and that helps to seal in the stitches. Now it's nice and smooth, rub your hands on it, you can get a really good grip. I really like using veg tan leather for this, which is what this is. This is buttero. This is Italian veg tan, which kind of is funny because this is French. It's French and Italy right here. This is Italian veg, and it will get a really nice patina, and you can get a really good grip. These particular greasing irons, I'm not sure what other brands do, come with these stands, and it also means it doesn't slide around very much. The wood does. But these stands stays there nicely. And it looks really pretty as well.